Hey everybody, this is Gary Robbins in the newsroom with some really interesting science news. It comes out of UC San Diego's Scripps Institution of Oceanography and it involves manta rays. Uh, the university is announcing today that for the first time they have uh, discovered the location of a manta ray nursery. Uh, they've been looking for a very long time. They would see adult manta rays in the ocean, things like, uh, like this, but they never found where the nurseries were. So for the very first time they found one, it's in the Gulf of Mexico. It's about 70 miles uh, south of Galveston at a place called Flower Garden Bank National Sanctuary. It's beautiful. Uh, the work here was done by Josh Stewart, a graduate student. He's about to graduate uh, with his doctorate from UCSD. Over the past few years, they did a lot of diving in this sanctuary and over time they began to see one or two of the manta rays and then over time they realized that these, um, these animals were coming up from deep areas into the shallows and in fact it was a nursery. Um, for, mo you know, for most of the time we don't see manta rays when they're only two, three, four, five years old. Uh, we don't generally see them until uh, they are adults and it's not really clear why. Um, but uh, the folks from Scripps and from the uh, National Marine um, uh, Sanctuary got these magnificent uh, images of the manta rays. Now when they get to become adults, they can have a wingspan that's like 21 feet long. And even though they don't look like it, they actually can move quite fast. Josh Stewart spent a lot of time underwater filming uh, with colleagues from NOAA. And so what they've produced is this. This gives them a good place to study to begin to understand what juvenile manta rays actually eat. Um, where do they go off to? They come, do they come to this site from another uh, place? What are their migration routes? And by understanding these kinds of things, you can understand how to protect the animals. And, and this is a protected animal, animal, and this is U.S. waters. So they're incredible animals. I was talking to Josh, and he was telling me that you, sometimes you just hang in the water like this, and you see the silhouette of one coming at you, and you're really excited, and one part of you is kind of like a little bit nervous because it's a large animal, but these are highly social creatures. They will come right up and engage you. They're very curious about the bubbles you release from your dive mask, things like this. So if you just kind of stay sus uh, suspended in the water, they will come to you. It's a moment of magic, and so we have some really good news. To recap, UC San Diego and the Scripps Institution of Oceanography has found the first manta ray uh, nursery in the world. It's in the Gulf of Mexico, 70 miles south of Galveston. We'll be learning a lot more about this because now that they find them, they're going back, they know where to look. Reporting from 6 and B, this is Gary Robbins of the Union Tribune.